Hello, everybody. I'm back here for a little clip to show you what I found out here at the junkyard of my buddy's place. Um, I have this old uh, 50s Ford. It's an F500 hood. I've got a couple ideas what I'm going to do with it. Um, don't want to say quite yet because the ideas are pretty lofty and I feel like I'm going to fail if I tell people what I'm trying to do. So it's got absolute solid rust on the whole thing. There's not an ounce of paint anywhere on it. There's a few little rust holes. If you notice like right there's a few. There's some worse back in the back but what I'm doing with it I don't care for that. Um, still has the original Ford emblem on the front. It's got a nice big dent in it. Really pitted, not worth anything to anybody, I doubt. Also has a lot of good old mold on the side of it here, in the back corner. It was tilted up the whole time. It's been, I think, up for probably 20 years or so, so it's got a lot of rust right down here in that corner. You can see it's rusted out where it held a lot of water. Also does have the Ford 500 emblem, and the emblem is on both sides. They're also in really poor shape. Back here in the back, I have an old, which I laid it upside down so you can't read it, but it's a Studebaker um, truck tailgate. So the bed of the truck had been turned into a trailer at some point. They haven't used it in years. And he said I could have the tailgate, so I took the tailgate off it. And I also have the fan off that old Ford. Um, got a couple ideas for that too I might be able to use it with. So we'll see once I get it cleaned up how it turns out. That right there is the trailer that the Studebaker um, bed that the tailgate came off of. It's had different tail lights you can see put on it. The fenders are all beat up. The bed's in poor shape. This right here is the old Ford that hood, the hood came off of. Um, the grill itself is in halfway decent shape. The V8 symbol is there, but it's really pitted and rusted real bad. Not worth a lot. Um, not a bad old truck. It's got the big flatbed that's ruined. At some point it's been towed quite a bit. They have actually have the hitch on the front here that basically hooks up that's tied into the frame another old ford here this is an f350 um real nice looking truck you know rusted out cab floors all that stuff are all gone but just a neat era design it's got the great ford 350 emblems on the side and part of me really wants those um i might talk to me about seeing if i get some of these badges off some of these vehicles for some reason i think that ford would just look absolutely awesome on the side of my van up there, the Ford F-350. So, um, don't think most people even notice it, especially in my old crappy van, but it'd be something kind of interesting to see. Um, there's over there is another old um, 50s style Ford. You can see there, and then behind it is another older truck. I believe that's another Ford also. I think that's an F-500, I believe. So, it's an old truck also. Um, just not in great shape, um, but they're, Rusty relics. There's an old Nova there. The front fender is all smashed in. Just an, unfortunately had a rough life. Had some damage. Been wrecked up in that. As you can see going down through here, there's an old Dodge um, trailer there that had the tailgate. Which if I get this tailgate into something worthwhile, I might see about getting this tailgate from it. This one's in worse shape. It's been up pretty bad, and it's got a lot more stuff. I'm gonna drag it out to get to it. So. But we'll see what it comes up with. If I get this project done with this one, then it'll definitely be worth looking into getting another. There's just some newer stuff out here, some 70s stuff, some 80s stuff. I think there's even a 90s stuff out here too. There's an old um, Chevy Biscayne, which is the four-door. Nice looking car back in its day. I like the Biscayne symbols. That's one I would like to get a hold of if I could get my hands on it. Uh, old Chevy Love here behind me. Um, Neat old Chevy here also. Um, just then we got the old 68 to 72 style. Beautiful old trucks. Poor shape, but they're just, I don't know, you don't see a lot of them around. He's got probably, I don't know, half a dozen of these trucks, if not more, out here, the old Chevys. I don't think any of them have titles and none of them, you know, have any running gear, nothing in them. So this right here is another old hood that I like, the old Ford hood on this truck. Um, would be something else if my first project works with that other old old hood. I wouldn't mind having that hood to make something out of too. So I only want to take what I think I can use right away to begin with. We have a 69, 70, something like that, Chevy 2 Nova. Um, great little hood symbol there. Also another one I wouldn't mind having someday, but another old Ford truck here. Um, in fact, just when they had some style to them, the cab's all dented up and beat up on it pretty bad. If this is the um, Ford 250, this is the twin I-beam. Back when that was a really big deal, you can see the 
symbol here. They really kind of bragged it up. Gave the truck a much different ride. Really rode a lot nicer at that point. So it looks like the license for this was last time on the road by 86. It's got a great old grill in it. Some interesting things. Now here's the one I love, the old International. This thing right here, if I had the money and the skill and the time, I would be all about trying to get a hold of this thing because I've always been a fan of the old Internationals. Just a great looking truck. Um, it's in horrible shape. It'd take 10 times what it's worth to restore it, I'm sure, but it'd be fun to have. Then a great old Chevy here. Another one, awesome, you know, grill ornament, great hood ornament, that kind of stuff. So definitely a lot of great things out here that someday, you know, who knows, maybe he'll get rid of. This is the 6100 Chevrolet, which is just a nice, giant, heavy-duty truck. Um, you got to love these old things. So then we come on back here. We got another old Ford. We got an old Chrysler Newport, I believe, or Dodge uh, 400, I guess, actually. Another old International, much better shape than the last one, but still horrible condition for the amount of work it would take. Great front end though, great grill. I love the hood ornament for it. Just some really interesting stuff. Um, we got the old Chevy. This right here is just a beautiful old truck. Giant front bumper on it. You could put winches, all kinds of heavy duty stuff on there. This was a fire department vehicle at some point. Just wonderful, wonderful old stuff. You just don't see this kind of thing anymore, you know. Unfortunately, people don't care about this stuff much. Um, this here is Hank Olsen, another international. It's an I-200. Not certain I don't see a badge on anywhere, but I believe it's an international. I guess in the early 70s, probably. Then we have another old Ford, another great old Ford. Just I love the look of the sloping fenders, all that kind of stuff. Great product. Um, old refrigerator in the back. And then, of course, an old four-wheel drive Toyota. So definitely um, nothing major, just some interesting things out here then the other side of the creek over there is just a bunch of trash and scrap and that he's a big scrapper been doing junking for years um people don't realize there's a lot of money made in junking actually if you do it right you can pick up stuff and let it sit around wait till the scrap price goes up and go sell it when it's right but the guys that don't make any money the guys that are having to sell out every single week to pay their bills and when the scrap price are down they're selling their stuff and then they don't make any money at it so if you can afford let the junk pile up if you got the room like he's got a bunch of land out here he's got the room to let it all pile up you gotta love that so anyway um that's pretty much all i know for now i'm gonna go ahead and head back up i got the two main pieces i was after i'm gonna go out and pick myself up some tin that he has some old tin here on the other side of that pile over there that i'm gonna pick up to hopefully make into a smoke shack my buddy and we can go from there so i'll talk to you guys later and i'll keep you informed what i come up with of these projects have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching